Good morning, everyone. My name is Jason. I am the founder of Distress Loan Advisors. I founded Distress Loan Advisors in 2009 after working for the largest SBA lender in the world. I've been helping people through offer and compromise and SBA workout matters since then. If you want to schedule some time with me for a case evaluation, there is a link below. And if you want to follow me anywhere other than here on YouTube, you can also find me on Twitter at EIDL advice, no spaces. Today, I want to talk to you about EIDL loans and the rumors about $100,000 or less being forgiven. So I did make a video about this. Um, I'll put a link below to that as well. But clearly, I didn't title it well enough because people are still asking the question and I'm still seeing people talk about it online. So the question is, is the SBA going to forgive loans, idle loans for less than $100,000? As of today, November 9th, 2023, no. People are confusing this ongoing back and forth that the Inspector General is having with the SBA um, with some sort of discussion of forgiveness. So here's what happened. The, the Inspector General's job is to oversee basically waste, fraud, and abuse within the government. And so they're the watchdog of the you know all these different agencies, including the SBA. And so... The SBA, when they gave the PPP loan, some of them didn't get forgiven because they weren't used for appropriate purposes. And so you know, the money was owed. Essentially, the SBA was saying, we're not forgiving it. Um, the SBA made a decision not to refer loans of 100,000 or less to the Treasury for collection, um, presumably because the cost of the collection would exceed uh, what they would actually recover. Because keep in mind, a lot of these borrowers uh, are S Corp, C Corps, LLCs. There's no personal guarantees. And so the SBA's reasoning was, what are you gonna get from these people anyway? And so, you know, people sort of took that PPP thing and ran with it and said, okay, well, if they're gonna do that with PPP, they'll probably do that with, uh, with idle loans. Now, just as a sidebar here, I, if they were gonna do that, I would think it would be 200,000 or less because that's the cutoff for personal guarantees. And so here's the point I wanna make. The SBA is not talking about forgiving any of this. The discussion is whether or not they're gonna refer it to the treasury, that's it. And here's the thing. If you borrow through an S Corp, LLC, you know, uh, C Corp, whether or not it gets referred to the treasury really shouldn't be a huge deal to you if your business is already closed because without personal liability, it's really not a huge concern. So. If stuff doesn't get referred to the treasury, even if that turns out to be true, it doesn't mean they're forgiving it. It just means they're foregoing collections. But in most cases, they're foregoing collections because they know they're not gonna get anything anyway. So that's the answer um, to the question of, are they going to forgive IDA loans less than $100,000? They might one day, but the current discussion has nothing to do with forgiving those loans. It has to do with whether or not they're gonna take collection actions against them um, by referring them to the treasury. So that's the distinction. So if you're online, if you're on like Reddit, you know, people, I'm gonna rant about Reddit for a second. You know, there's some people clearly who have done a little homework or talked to someone like me and then they run with it and they think they know everything. So just be careful with the information that you get from, you know, message boards, you know, like I said, Reddit is the one that I've seen, but um, you know, the internet is rife with misinformation. And so even if, you know, eight or nine times out of 10, it's correct, often, you know, it's wrong on key, key elements. Um, I mean, I saw a guy the other day who was claiming, you know, once it goes to the treasury, it could still settle for 10%. I mean, I haven't seen that and I've been doing this a long time. And so are things changing all the time? Sure. But you just keep in mind that, you know, like I said, people who are trying to um, be helpful often um, are just, you know, they've got too much information um, or just enough information to make them dangerous. Anyway, that concludes my rant. Um, in summary, no, they are not forgiving EIDL loans for less than $100,000 at this point. It's really about a fight between the Inspector General and the SBA. And at this point, the resolution was, the SBA said, okay, fine, we're gonna hire someone to look into it so we have data to support our decision. Um, and really that's all that the Inspector General at this point was, um, that was the point that they were making. 
they were not arguing one way or another that it should or should not go to the Treasury or whether or not that would result in recovery or not. All they're saying is have some facts to back up your decision. All right, that's it. We'll see you on the next one.